everybody and welcome back to Al's Body 31 Days of Halloween. Today's video is another Haunted Memphis episode and today we're going to be talking about Pee Wee's Saloon. Yes, you heard that right, Pee Wee's Saloon. <laughs> now Pee Wee's Saloon no longer exists really. Um, the building is still there but it is now a live music venue and is known as the Tin Roof. And for a time, it was also a hard rock cafe. Now the Pee Wee Saloon was named after a man whom people called Pee Wee because of his short stature. But his real name, I will put on the screen because I'm afraid I'm gonna butcher it. I'm actually of Italian heritage, but I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce his name. Um, his first name, I think is just Virgilio but the last name I'm not sure. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna call him Pee Wee for now. And he is an Italian immigrant who came to America with very little, which hits home for me because my ancestors, they came from Sicily and had very, very little their entire lives. Now, though this man was very short, he was only four and a half feet tall, he was mighty, <laughs> as most of us are, especially us Italians. Apparently he was not to be messed with and the people who worked for him knew that he was in charge. Now, supposedly in 1900, W.C. Handy actually wrote the song Memphis Blues at the saloon. At that time, Edward H. Crump was running for mayor and the song was written for his campaign. And the song was originally called Mr. Crump. So Pee Wee's Saloon was not just a saloon, but it was also kind of a rooming house and a gambling house. And legend has it that at times things got rowdy around there and if someone ended up killed, their body would be dumped in the nearby bayou. So for a short time, the building was actually a recording studio and during that time, people who were in recording sessions claimed to hear noises that they could not explain in the recordings, like noises that they know didn't come from them or the musicians or anything. For example, sometimes they would hear sounds of like some sort of brawl and gunshots. So the building is now the tin roof and some guests have claimed hearing the sound of gunshots over the live music and even have supposedly experienced being shoved by unseen forces. Now what is strange to me and may have added to kind of the paranormal, I mean, the activity that was already there probably got worse when they did this. When they started to turn it into the Hard Rock Cafe, they actually pushed the building down. They like added onto the building and pushed the already established building down far enough to where the old building was actually now the basement. <laughs> So if you can imagine that, if there was anything paranormal going on there, it probably got worse when they did that. So I would imagine that basement is probably the most, where the most activity happens. Um, but I don't know for sure. I haven't talked to anybody that's been there. I have not been there myself. So that completes this video. Another short Haunted Memphis episode, I know. But I thought it was still good enough to just bring it on this channel. I thought you guys would find it interesting. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a wonderful day or night or whatever time it is when you guys watch this video. And I will see you in the next one tomorrow for 31 days of Halloween. Bye.